Hello, I'm Rancho Palos Verde City Manager R. Maranian with an update from the September 19th City Council meeting. The City Council, utility officials, and concerned residents came together to address the latest water and gas pipe breaks in the Portuguese Bend landslide complex. Representatives from Cal Water and Southern California Gas updated the council and community on their mitigation efforts in response to the growing number of water and gas line leaks in the landslide area. Over the past few years, accelerated movement in the landslide complex has resulted in pipe breaks and adversely affected the Portuguese Bend, Abalone Cove, and Seaview neighborhoods. In Seaview, two homes in the Klondike Canyon Abatement District were red tagged resulting from land movement. The council and staff are working with the utilities and the public on solutions, including deploying real-time leak detection technology, repairing and replacing broken pipes, and improving communications and response times to leaks. The council directed staff to explore the option of declaring a local state of emergency and to bring their findings to the next city council meeting. In addition, the council approved nearly $2.4 million in professional service agreements for the final engineering of the Portuguese Bend Landside Remediation Project. The capital infrastructure funds will be used for final engineering and anticipated design revisions to complete the final environmental impact report for the project. Meanwhile, the council received a quarterly status report on the city council goals for fiscal year 2023 through 2024. Staff presented updates on 18 projects that fall under six overarching annual goals, ranging from public safety to quality of life for residents. For more information on the goals and the Portuguese Bend landslide mitigation efforts, watch the September 19th City Council meeting on RPV TV or the city website at rpvca.gov. Let's stay connected and remember we are RPV together.